Good. Hi, my name is Eric. Uh, today I'm going to teach you how to build a computer and verify it's working and ready to go. Okay. First, we're going to start with the motherboard. You need a motherboard. This is a ECS motherboard. Picked up from Fry's. It's a LGA775 DDR4300 memory. Your motherboard and heat sink. And what we're going to do today is we're going to put this motherboard into the case. Okay, before we're going to put in the motherboard, we need to put the, the brace, the brace, uh, what are they called? The, they're called brass stands so the motherboards can stand up correctly. So what I have here is a little 5 millimeter socket. It's like a little attachment. You can actually use it for a screwdriver too, but I use it for this purpose because I want to make sure all the little brass uh, stand sit correctly. So we're gonna look at the little the little dots right here and make sure everything lines up correctly. Okay. Okay. Thank so you. we have one, two, three, four. Okay. Put this like this. You know when I do that I don't usually screw it. I just I just screw it on with my hand. I think that's good enough but Whatever. <laughs> what? No, nothing. Professionalism is always good for this kind of stuff. Okay, I see. Okay, let me see the professionalism. Okay. So that's another one. And four. Okay, now we're going to put the board in. But before we put the, bo the board in, we need to put in the ISO shield. Because if you don't have the ISO shield, it's going to be blank in the back. So, we're going to go ahead and put in the shield. In the back. Okay, now it's in. Now we go about putting the board in. Okay, make sure the screws line up. Or actually what we're gonna do, let's put the CPU in first. Because these ones are a little bit hard to get on. It's the LGA775, so you lift it up, press this back, and we'll get out our CPU. LGA775 and it has a little cut right here. You can see there's a little triangle. Okay. Oh, you match the triangle to you the triangle. You match the triangle there, right? to right there. Okay, yeah. Okay. Close this. And then this goes down okay. and over. That's it? Now we're going to put on the heat sink. Okay. So the arrows go back. Turn the arrows all back. Line them up and push down on the tabs so you hear the clicking noise. One, two, three, four. Voila. Okay. okay. Don't forget to plug in your power. Okay. And we're going to insert the memory. Okay. DDR 4300. Yes. yes. Okay. Don't, break, don't break the memory. There's your memory. Okay, snapped in. And now we're going to put in the screws for the motherboard. Okay. 
The reason why that I like to use the tool to tighten it down because if you don't use the tool when you put a different kind of screw in there sometimes the screw will lock into the brass fitting and then you have to start all over again which is a real pain so that's why you oh yeah that's true that's why yeah you want it you want it tight yeah. <coughs> okay so you can see all the little holes on the motherboard are lined up one okay. two three four okay. I'm trying to see it yeah okay now we're yeah. gonna yeah yeah that's true now we're gonna put the screws in I wish there's like five screws or three screws, yeah. not four. Four's a bad number in Chinese or Korean. Know that? <laughs> <laughs> but there's there's uh, four four doors in the car, you know. So oh well, it's gonna help it. So we're gonna put in the last screw. Okay. It's in. Okay. Now we just need to hook up the power. Okay, let us zoom in here. So there's a reset. Okay. And there's power. Okay, I see it. That's cool. So we're gonna hook it up to the motherboard. Okay. So this one the power goes right here. Okay. Most uh, motherboards come with the diagram, right? Yeah, most of them come with okay. a diagram. So you just follow the directions. Yeah, just follow the directions. We have a little diagram right here. Okay, I see. I see. That's what we're going to yes, be using. Yes. Okay. So you plug this in here. Yep. Right. I'm going to plug that in right there. Okay. Okay. All right. And we got our four pin. Okay, four pin. Okay. For the CPU. CPU, okay. And this is the motherboard. Okay, to the motherboard. We're going to the motherboard. We're gonna go ahead and fire it up. Okay. Just to verify. Screw test. Okay. Yeah, just show everything is working. So that's the power. That's you need the power. A, uh, do you need the monitor? Yes, I need a monitor. So. You don't need a keyboard. Okay. Let's okay. just see if it's powering I'll up. Just show you. I'm plugging the keyboard. We don't need a mouse. Okay. Okay. And I'm gonna fire it up. There's your power. Okay. All right. I see it. Oh, it's the fans running. Fans running. Let's see. Let's see if anything's coming up here. Oh, cool. Okay. There you go. There we go. And then, um, let's verify. I'm going to the BIOS. Okay, there you go. your BIOS. All right, and there's then we hooked up also the reset button, so I'll okay. show you the reset button where it's. Okay. So. Oh, cool. It's just uh, reset now. Okay. So it's power up again. Um, so. Yeah, there you, you go. go. Cool. How to build cool. a computer. Awesome. Yep. Thank you.